for God so loved Africa that he gave us all the natural resources. But so whosoever believed that this continent is the Garden of Eden will live forever. Yo, 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 like, I don't know what to tell you, but if you are an African, you are super blessed. I don't know what to tell you, my brother. After visiting 16 African countries out of the 55, yo, being an African is a blessing. Like I said, go out there. Go live your life. I mean, go learn something new. And make sure you explore. Whenever you're exploring, please never neglect the beautiful motherland. Hey, like, if I never come to a Swatini, I will never know that this country got so many hidden games, bro. Look at this. I mean, uh, who won't stay here forever? Like, I feel like I'm a kid that has been exposed to candies. You know, when they give you candies around, you don't know which one to choose. Like, I'm not leaving this country anytime soon. And uh, so far, the love that I've got from this country, now I can confidently say that no African it's a foreigner in Africa. I want to give a big shout out to the Minister of Tourism of this beautiful country. Secondly, the CEO of Tourism. Oh my God, such a nicest woman I've ever met in my entire life. No, apart from my mom. Yeah, I mean, yeah. <laughs> but hey, apart from my mom, this woman, it's so nice, man. She's so nice, yeah? But I just want to tell all Africans out there, I know sometimes you feel like the best holiday destination is Bali. You feel like the best holiday destination is Singapore. You feel like the best holiday destination is, um, how do you call it, Paris, New York. But have you taken your time to check the best holiday destinations in Africa? I mean... When you come and take your honeymoon pictures here, people will not even believe that it's Africa. That is why I keep on telling you that Africa got so many hidden games. And I'm so glad that I started this movement, Africa to the World, because it's showing me so much about our continent. This video, I don't even know the title of this video. I'm just trying to talk to you. You know, let's talk. Let's have a conversation. It could be 30 minutes. It could be one hour because I cannot just leave this view behind me. You know what? Whenever you travel as an African, whenever you move within the continent of Africa, don't let anyone call you a foreigner because whenever even you are born in Ghana, you are born in Nigeria, you are born in Tanzania. You are born in South Sudan. Even if you are born in Somalia. You know, my camera guy is looking at me because I've not mentioned the name Kenya. Even if you are born in Kenya. Whenever you find yourself in a Swantini, know that this place is your home. Never think that you are a foreigner in any African country. Like, let me tell you something. After going to the 16 African countries, when people see me in their various countries, they start speaking their language to me. They start talking to me. Eh, so born. I was like, dude, you know what? I don't understand shit. <laughs> like, some places that is even so funny is like when they see you. Some of them, like in um, this country in particular. When people see you, like especially the elderly people. They are greeting you like one of the respectable African countries I've ever been. Like the old respect the young, the, res the young respect the old. It's like reciprocal. I mean, it's so beautiful in here. Go out there. And make sure you go learn something new. You are not a foreigner. 
in any African country. I mean, the things that I've learned so far, the stories that I've been getting from people from different parts of Africa are telling me that Africa was borderless before we were colonized. So when you come to this country in particular, you might find out that these people migrated all the way from Eastern and Central Africa to come to this place to settle down. So you might even find out that your family member is from Eswatini. You never know. When I came to this country, like Elvis to be speaking Swahili, and then people think that he is speaking what? Siswati. When he went to South Africa, Zulu. They were speaking Zulu. When you come to this country, people speak Zulu. No one is a foreigner in any African country. I mean, this is our land. They say Africa is for Africans. Yes, Africa is for Africans. I'm not discriminating. You can come and explore the continent just like the way Africans also go and explore a different continent. But I just want Africans to know that this is our land. This is what we have. And this is what we need to cherish. If you don't cherish your continent, who will cherish the continent for you? It's time for Africans to wake up and know that Nyanara Yasasini Eya Mayan. This is our land and this is so precious to us. So if you don't take care of the land, who will take care of the land for you? I mean, like I said, this is just a random video. I just want to talk to my fellow brothers and sisters. Grab a beer and let's have a conversation. Listen to your annoying boy. Listen to your little brother speaking from experience. I love you so much. And if you think that I ever hate any country, please, I have no time. To even hate on another brother. I'm trying to tell Africans something. But people don't get where my messages are coming from. I mean. Africans in general. Are disorganized. I mean. We are not. United. We have to. Unite. As one. Like, it feels so sad to see Africans uniting when we have been discriminated. Like when I do a video where the Chinese is insulting black people, or I do a video about Europeans insulting Africans, that's when you see Africans uniting as one, complaining, but not ready to bring solution. Don't be that African. Who complain a lot without thinking of how to resolve this issue that's why I go beyond my comfort zone to tell young Africans that Africa belongs to us so don't be that young African who sits on the internet insult your fellow African brother I mean self-hate within us is even way too much oh my god sometimes I cry to see your fellow African just hating on you. People will make videos about you just hating on you. But they will never hate on that brother from Europe. Or they will never hate on that brother from America. But they have so much energy to hate on a fellow brother. I've lived in China. And the way Chinese people are united. Oh my goodness so sad to see this unity among Africans let's come together as one if we unite as Africans trust me the entire world will be afraid of us if Africans can unite because you know we, we were trained to hate ourselves because they divided as that this is Zimbabwe, this is Zambia, this is Ghana, this is Nigeria. So an African brother will say that I'm not from Zambia, you are not from Ghana, you are not my brother. My brother, there was nothing like Ghana in those days. There was nothing like Nigeria in those days. 
we need one Africa. After traveling within 16 countries, I wish I had so much money to finish the entire continent before this year ends. Because I'm ready to discover, educate myself, and then educate you that we are just one people. When you go to Zambia, they eat in Shima, that is what, Ugali in Kenya. When you come to this country, they call it what, pap. Just one common food. Have you ever sat down and think that, why is it that these people are eating exactly the same food? If you go to Ghana, they eat exactly the same food as people from Nigeria. You don't even sit down and think that, no way, why are we eating exactly the same food? <laughs> we were divided. But I don't want you to sit down and always blaming the West whilst we can bring solution I mean, how to resolve this issue and unite as one. Africa is the Garden of Eden. You are living, but they are coming. Some of you are telling me that they told you not to come to Africa. How can you not come into this beautiful garden? God is an African. If you don't know, I'm telling you today. Because God loves this continent so much that He makes sure that the gold is in Africa. He makes sure that what? The diamond is in Africa. He makes sure that all the natural resources is in Africa. When you come to this small country like Eswantini, this is the first country in the world that started mining. So which means that the continent is so blessed. That is why all these people come to this continent, come and steal and take you to their country to tell you that, oh, that place is heaven. But they build the heaven with the natural resources from Ghana or the natural resources from somewhere in Africa. And they built heaven. Now, Africans say that, oh, I want to go to heaven, right? So they try to move to Europe, America, to go and live the better life over there because they made them believe that that is heaven. But they stole all these resources to build the heaven from Africa. It's time for us to build our own heaven in here if we eliminate corruption. If you see that brother from Ghana, ask your brother. I mean, I told you that today I'm just gonna open up. This video could be an hour, 30 minutes, no editing. I just love this continent so much that when people even start talking about me, I was like, shut up, you don't even know me. Maybe I might do a video that you might think that, oh, what is this boy saying? I'm a human, I can make mistakes. But don't judge me if you don't know me. Let's come together, one Africa. Africans travel Africa, invest in Africa, school Africa, live in Africa, live, um, love Africa, enjoy Africa. It's a boy, Mr. Ghana, baby. Thank you so much for the love and support. Share this video if you think like uh, I'm making sense for the first time. <laughs> just let me know in the comment section let's talk to one another i just want to hear from you just let me know first of all leave a comment and say that i'm an african born let the african come first i'm an african born let me know where you were born let me know um do you feel proud to be an african let me know what you think what is the way forward for this continent that god loves so much for god so loved the world no it's for god so loved africa that he gave us all the natural resources but so whosoever believed that this continent is the garden of eden will live forever I am Maya.